Spinosaurus was a dinosaur so strange, so unlike anything else we've found, that even today, we're not quite sure what to make of it. It had the jaws of a crocodile, the spine of a sailboat, the legs of a stork, and a tail like a giant paddle. It may have been the largest carnivorous dinosaur to ever live, and the only one to ever truly rule the water. But for almost a century, it was lost, destroyed in war, known only from scraps and speculation. This is the story of a predator built for rivers and reborn from the ashes of history. Spinosaurus was first discovered in 1912 by Bavarian paleontologist Ernst Stromer during an expedition to the Baharia Oasis in Egypt. Among the desert rocks, Stromer's team unearthed fossils unlike anything seen before. Long neural spines, strange vertebrae, and massive razor-sharp teeth. Three years later, in 1915, Stromer formally named the species Spinosaurus aegypticus, meaning Egyptian spine lizard, based on these fossil fragments. But he wasn't working with much. Part of a lower jaw, a few vertebrae, a pelvic bone, and those towering dorsal spines that would give the animal its name. Still, Stromer knew it was something special. He carefully documented everything, even as his ideas were ridiculed. At the time, dinosaurs were expected to be lumbering lizards, not bizarre, semi-aquatic monsters. Then came World War II. In 1944, a bombing raid by Allied forces struck the Munich Museum, where Stromer's fossils were stored. The only known Spinosaurus remains were destroyed and buried beneath rubble. All that was left were Stromer's notes, sketches, and photographs. Spinosaurus vanished for nearly 60 years. For decades, Spinosaurus remained one of paleontology's greatest enigmas. It was big, clearly carnivorous, and bizarre, but with no complete skeleton, scientists could only make best guesses. Some imagined it as a T-Rex with a sail on its back. Others suggested it might have been a fish-eating specialist like a giant heron. Then, in the early 2000s, fossil dealers in Morocco began selling strange bones found in the Kemkem beds a fossil-rich region along the border of Morocco and Algeria. Among them were vertebrae, skull pieces, and eventually a partial skeleton. In 2014, paleontologist Nizar Ibrahim led a team that re-excavated the site, matched the bones to a previously lost specimen, and reassembled what became the most complete Spinosaurus skeleton ever found. The new fossils revealed a dinosaur like no other. Spinosaurus was incredibly long, up to 15 meters, but it was oddly proportioned. Its hind legs were short and muscular, more like that of a wading bird than a land predator. Its arms were large, with hooked claws ideal for gripping slippery prey. Its skull was long and narrow, like a crocodile's, and filled with conical teeth, not serrated, but perfect for catching fish. Most shockingly, in 2020, new fossils revealed a flattened paddle-shaped tail, a structure never seen in another dinosaur. It was wide, flexible, and capable of undulating side to side, exactly what you'd expect from an aquatic hunter. Its nostrils were positioned high on its skull, allowing it to breathe while its snout remained submerged. Its bones were unusually dense, helping it stay underwater like modern diving animals. It wasn't just a dinosaur that could swim, it was actually built for it. Spinosaurus wasn't a land-stalking super predator, it was the Cretaceous equivalent of a crocodile, or maybe even a giant penguin with teeth and an attitude. And then there's the sail, Spinosaurus' most iconic and debated feature. The tall neural spines along its back likely supported either a thin sail of skin or a hump of muscle and fat. But what was it for? Some suggest thermoregulation, the sail absorbing or dispersing heat. Others believe it was for display, to attract mates or intimidate rivals. Some even speculate it helped with stability in the water, acting a little bit like a keel of a ship. But controversy doesn't end there. Some paleontologists question how Spinosaurus moved on the land. Were its legs too short for walking? Could it even support its own weight without the water's buoyancy? Was it a full-time swimmer, or did it wade in shallow deltas like a heron? Even today, experts still disagree. New fossils help, but they also raise new questions, and that's what makes Spinosaurus so fascinating. It refuses to be figured out. What we do know, however, is that Spinosaurus lived around 95 million years ago in what is now Northern Africa during the Cretaceous period. Its world was a hot, wet floodplain teeming with massive sawfish, lungfish, crocodilians, and other predators. It didn't compete directly with other dinosaurs, however, like Carcharodontosaurus and Bahariosaurus, because it occupied a totally different niche. Spinosaurus was the king of the rivers, a massive, semi-aquatic ambush predator that hunted fish the size of sharks and patrolled waterways no other dinosaur dared to enter. It wasn't just strange, it was unique. The only known fully aquatic dinosaur. Spinosaurus is a story of mystery, rediscovery, and constant reinvention. From the deserts of Egypt to the fossil markets of Morocco, from wartime destruction to 21st century breakthroughs, the dinosaur has had more plot twists than most novels. We're still learning about it, still arguing over it, 
and still rewriting its story, one bone at a time. This was Spinosaurus, the river monster of the Cretaceous. This has been Prehistoric Fact Files. If you enjoyed the story of Spinosaurus, like, subscribe and hit the bell because we're just getting started. Comment below, do you think Spinosaurus was the deadliest dinosaur ever or just the weirdest? And let us know what creature you want us to cover next. But until then, stay curious.